Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bloongubane and this is the Bloongubane YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Please make sure that you like this video and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to join this beautiful ever so blue family thank you once again for tuning in and if you're a returning subscriber honey let me just take this moment and say thank you i love you so much and i appreciate you so i just want to take this moment and just say that thank you so much guys for subscribing to my youtube channel thank you for just watching tuning in and engaging i really appreciate it so much i must say that it takes a lot for me to just record videos and talk and talk and all of that as much as it's my passion but i'm still very hesitant i'm just like oh my gosh you know because i have like a vision for my youtube channel and even though it's not unfolding how i want it to unfold i'm just grateful for just even encouraging myself to consist consistently rather post and to put myself out here uh to be vulnerable and to be seen trying because it's so difficult to be seen trying but nonetheless we are going to show up because ourselves on the other side of showing up of starting small because the bible does speak about do not despise small beginnings so every single one of you has subscribed to my youtube channel i really appreciate you without further more to do let us get into today's story time so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys a story time about a time where this girl tried to get me expelled from school like crazy i know i know i know so this is all the way back in primary school i was doing grade five and it was just like the beginning of the year or so i think it was middle of first term so middle of first term is usually like generally is usually like january um through to march or end of march is it like middle of january to march yeah so um i'm minding my own business in grade five and like i'm always talking <laughs> I wasn't like a troublesome kid like I wasn't going out of my way to make the teachers experiences of teaching horrible but I was quite a, a blabbermouth and I was very like funny I had a lot of humor and you know that's one of the traits that I really admire God for <laughs> It wasn't like today I'm waking up, I'm gonna say a joke and everybody's gonna laugh like if you were to sit with me right now and be like tell me a joke I'd be completely blank because what you know but i was rather a person that i'm rather a person that is like when i see moments like actually and then yeah god and then i'll say something and then it's funny so it, it wasn't like uh, an intentional thing that like i'm funny like that like i can say jokes but it's just always a moment of opportunity and then you know i engage with it in my silly little mind and it's funny so um i'm just minding my business i'm doing all that i'm being extra i'm being the short kid like i've come to terms with the fact that like i'm short but you know i still have that belief in me that i'm still gonna grow but it kind of seems like i am really short. like people are convinced that i'm short and i don't know if i should be convinced of it because i really don't see it like i don't see myself as short but you know that's another story for another time because honestly i don't feel short and as much as i engage with people on the tour than me anyways i digress so i'm just this little person going around yapping 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 and i'm, I'm kind of like i kind of have um a personality where you can like i can gel with just anybody like you big you small you in between whatever i can gel with anybody so nobody has a problem with me and mind you this class in grade five most of them i've known them from grade one two three four five you know so when we started moving when we moved from like what is it is it into me wait whoa oh yes when you moved from foundation phase which is like grade one to three to whatever phase intermediate phase i don't know to grade four that is where like the the class that i was in in grade four we moved together to grade five six and seven and i was always just part of the like the a class because that's how they graded us um that if it's 5a um you usually an a plus student b c d e and i didn't i actually don't know how i always ended up in in grade 
A's, like in the A's, because I don't, I didn't consider myself smart, you know. I just, I just, like school was just school, man. I just took it for granted, I guess. Like at that point in my life, I was just like, oh, okay, we do work. Let me just do work to stay out of trouble. Like I don't want to be hit. I don't want to be. I don't want to get into trouble. So it was just all about that. But anyways, so minding my business, go san chalo, okay. I'm just doing everything that you know I'm meant to do. I'm staying in my own lane. This girl, um, she's introduced to us. She's a new girl. So we're gonna name her Jet because her name rhymes with Jet surname so jet is introduced to the class and she came like um to the school like midterm of first term i think yes so she came to the school and then she was introduced to our group so in primary school we used to sit in group so i remember it was um two girls so there were three girls including me and then there was one two three six so there were six of us i think so there were three girls and three boys in our cl in our group it was introduced ah uh, hi everybody this is jed she's gonna be joining us uh, in this class she's transferred from this school and so and so and so i hope that you welcome her and so forth oh okay that's great i'm like such a very hospitable person is that a word period i'm creating words well if it's a word it's fine but i'm like a very i'm a great host like if you're new in the area i'm probably gonna show you around i'm gonna show you places and stuff like that i'm just like i felt i feel the duty to do that because i would want if i was going to a new place for someone else to do that for me um it's like that it's like that and then jet is said to is instructed to go and sit in our group so how um there were tables so basically it wasn't like a group but like our tables were just put together like um so there were two tables either side it's this table and this table together this table and this table together and then two tables here and then two tables there but she was instructed to come and sit in our group which was like fantastic i was like oh my gosh hi jade how are you doing like i made it a point to be like interactive with her like hi how are you uh, what school did you come from like why did you come out of the school like i was engaging with her and everyone else in our group was engaging with her so basically at this point again because we are students that have known each other from the previous grades you kind of have already an a relationship even though it's probably like i don't know three five weeks into the first term but we getting along like that because we've known each other for for quite some time you know and then um baby girl is interacting with everybody she's liking the attention she's you know she's just like that new girl mysterious whatever and 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 so i eventually see that oh okay she's gotten a hang of just everything that's happening she's gotten a she's gotten a hang of the syllabus and where we are in the syllabus and what and you know she's gotten to have she's she has had uh countless interactions with the people in the class and come to find she has some relatives in the other classes and you know she gets along with um other members of the class mind you she's not of my ethnic group so she was not black she was indian um a month into her being in in the class so which is like towards the end of the term she was basically comfortable and you know everything was good and then this one day this um i think it was our creative teacher creative art teacher she asked me to come and just monitor the class while she's at the office write down people's names who are talking so she called me to the front and i was there like on some sh everybody sh because I am watching every single one of you. So, Ujet is busy yapping, 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 yapping. But because, like, for my group, I had, like, grace for them. Because it's my group, mate. It's like, we chilled like that. We vibing like that. But Ujet take a, took advantage of that. Like, she took advantage of that for no reason. And she's yapping. And, obviously, the other group members are... Sh 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 the whispering to their core but yet felt the need to be a speakerphone girl be serious 
I can't even. You're incriminating yourself at this point. Incriminating yourself. Because even if the other people were like, no, but your, your group members are talking, I was going to be like, no, I hear whispering, but I can't see them. So I, you can, I can still like stand on business and be like, no. There were just whispers everywhere around in that area. There was no specific person that I saw talking. There was just... And obviously when they were talking, they had like their hands like this and their heads bowed down. And they were... You know, Jet was talking. She was yapping, yappa, yapping. Shanice. Shanice. Yeah? Your mouth is uh, moving a lot like a rat. Yappa, 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 yappa. Shut it, please. Stop it, Jets, because you're putting me in a compromising situation now because I have to write your name on the board as talkers. The other students, obviously, that I've already written on the board for talking were very outright about it, like, no, but Jet is talking. Why are you not writing her on the board? Because she's talking. And I'm just like... Jet, you're really putting me in a compromising situation. So I wrote Jet on the board. And then our teacher came and then she threw to them and like she gave them hiding and she punished them. Wada wada and I think the Nkinga, the Ngagi, the problem, the issue started there between myself and Jet. Because from that moment, like after they had gotten their punishment, Jet was literally eyeing me like you're eyeing me to kill me if eyeing people was a gun baby girl would have had an ak-47 pointed on my forehead like ga, 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 like nobody's business like rambo <laughs> going in on me she was eyeing me like nobody's business like she was Ha! Huh? Kelly, you did this to yourself. And then she was looking at me up and down and... Girl! What was I supposed to do? Because if I didn't write her down, the people that were talking were gonna state that no, Jet was also talking. So in place of Jet, I was gonna get the punishment because I didn't write Jet for talking and I was not gonna compromise. I was not gonna put myself in the line of defense like that because what? You didn't even think to protect me by not yabbing your mouth. So why should I? Like, why should I stand on business about protecting you? I'm not gonna do that. So Jet at this point looks at me like I'm some, some disgusting thing. She's looking at me up and down. And you know, like in primary school, like people, like children go out of their way to make you feel what they are feeling about you because it wasn't just like she was just a, like shaking her head on some oh, like girl and i think at that time like she has gotten used to it because like she was now chilling with other people during break but um at the beginning she used to chill with us ask to go to the tech shop with us and whatever so now she had gotten a bunch of other friends and whatever so she was chilling with them like that so during break um she would just like every time perhaps they would we would pass each other or we were at the tech shop they would all just as a squad look at me up and down like obviously i wouldn't hear what they were saying but i knew that they were like saying some some nasty thing about me but i was just like i don't care you know i was just minding my business like ugh, whatever i wasn't invested like that like i didn't have like solid ground to be like ugh, i should make something out of this thing and then suddenly she started being very aggressive towards me and then there was this other girl um we're gonna call her star so uh so star was just sitting there and me and star have a cool relationship like we're okay like we've known each other for a couple of years now we shop so maybe i'd borrow like a sharpener from star and then as soon as star is like handing it over to me jet would just take it from her fingers like she would just take it from her hand and just look at me like you're not getting um stars staying stars my friend what okay what what's going on 
anyways so i'd be like oh okay and then i'd ask one of the guys or whatever but i'd eventually obviously get the sharpener so i wouldn't i didn't engage i didn't interact with her with whatever she was doing like she was always trying to go out of her way to inconvenience me or to make it known to me that she doesn't like me but i was just like oh okay it's fine like i was just oh all right like do you send some what am i do what am i do what am i supposed to do about that it's your beef it's like one-sided beef and then she just continued with that interaction like if i don't borrow things from people and stuff like that and then she started saying things um to other people that she said um i had said so now she started lying to our other classmates talking about i said this and this and this about them and stuff like that and because like i was a short girl back then i was a tomboy like i was not smiling for jack i was i was just like i <laughs> if you see me now and probably like the people that i went to primary school with and they see me now they'll be like mind blown like what happened like what was the transition what happened how but because those people were scared of me because of how i am like i'm not your typical girl and like probably i'm gonna fight because the previous year <laughs> i i fought a boy and i was always known to be fighting boys only so that kind of like put them in a very contradictory situation where they couldn't really do anything about it because they know that i could fight um Ujit probably is seeing at this point that all her other attempts have come to fail like nothing is succeeding like nobody is doing anything about it and she's just so yabana she's so moved she's very passionate about our beef at this point like she's actively trying to get me to break down or wara wara or whatever she wanted so i don't know what and then this one day she writes me a note in islam how old i know islam she writes it in Islam and then she sends it to me. Like, she gives it to me across. Oh, before that, she started kicking me, like, under the table because I was sitting, like, literally opposite to her. Because when she came, she asked to swap with another boy. And then the other boy just came. She The, the other boy sat where she was supposed to sit. And then she came to sit next to Usta. And then she was, like, opposite me. And then I think it was, like, another boy. I can't remember him so she's she's now kicking me under the table like causing all of those things and then she would literally kick herself and then cry like she would cry and then the teacher would be like what's happening Nokolo? and i'm like i don't know and the teacher called us i'll be like no she kicked herself because my 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 shoes don't have this print this is evidence that she kicked herself because her own shoes are the print on her leg and those are not prints from my shoe and like all things some way somehow always worked in my favor now she's writing an um 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 a note to me and she's probably swearing at me or something in islam wara wara, and she's saying all these nasty things and whatever and she's looking at me like And then she sent it to me, like, across. And then I take it, I'm just like... And then I just, like, I write in this is like, Leave me alone, in translation. And then I send it back to her. Yeah, now, what does she have? She has uh, an upper hand because Star basically reads the message to her because Star knew Isizun. So Star reads the message talking about, uh, she said, leave me alone, wara wara, and end. And then she continues writing. And she gives it to me again. And obviously, I can't, I can't read Islam. I can't read um, anything she's written. And then I just basically write like, 
please leave me alone is is like wenga nyo muntu ngiyeke hlukana nami how ngaze ngavelelu wena ngiyeke ngiyeke ngange ngikoku ngiyeke full stop send it to her and then she has star read it for her and end and then she eventually like she takes the note i think it was the following week or something and at that point i think i had asked um the person that was sitting next to me to swap places so i was basically now opposite star and she was like diagonal to me so jet was diagonal to me and star was opposite to me and then she didn't like that like she didn't like that because even when we were changing uh when i was asking this person sitting next to me if we could change she was like don't change with her don't change with her don't do that but you also don't like me you kicking me doing all these extra things and we still don't want me to change but because i also didn't want to like interact with her and engage with her like that i was just like let me change you know and then we swapped um uh, our chairs and then i'm called like i'm called to the office what never in my four years of being in school have i been called for anything either than like my parents is here i go to the office and we're gonna call the deputy principal mr so mr and uh jet's parents were there so i'm sitting down in his office and he's asking me what's going on and then like i'm so confused what's going on about what and then mr mr tells me that um jet has been um communicating with her parents um saying that i'm bullying her what what and at that point i didn't even care about the fact that ugh, man she's lying i was just thinking about my grandmother like my grand is gonna come to school for this and on top of that for something that i'm not even doing like oh my gosh my grand didn't play about like coming to school like that so i was scared more so of her finding out about this thing than anything else and i'm just like okay um number one i didn't do that and then and then i just basically say all the secret of events um that have taken place over the course of the few weeks later that jet was writing to me in islam i kept it luckily i kept it so i asked mr jet so when i was explaining all these situation and these events and these encounters that we are we were having with who that i was having with Uchet, i asked to be excused um from its office to quickly just go in my bag and fetch my the letter this is the letter that jet was writing to me and then i think i asked um star or oh, one of our class me uh, to come and read the zulu part for mr mr happens to know islam and then he was reading and he was shocked like he was shocked and i was seeing like his face like probably that was like a lot of swearing words when it was just me and mr the deputy principal he was telling me that um if i am found to be guilty of bullying this girl they have no option but to expel me but even then i think he was just trying to get me to admit that i was bullying her but i was just standing my ground like i didn't do that you know but see and also it is such extreme measures like why not be suspended for a week or a couple of days because it was practically my first offense so when the parents come in and then he makes them read the islam part and they're shocked shakhed shukhed the parents they and then now by uh, born and then now mr sees that jet is trying to frame me actually she is the bully and because i was not bullable <laughs> oh oxford dictionary please come to me for new words period because now i was not easily like swayed by all her attempts and stuff like that um she felt a need to call her parents an active victim well, the deputy principal mr calls jet out and then um the parents and mr 
go inside the class so me and jet are sitting at the office and i think the secretary was just watching us like she was she just came mr asked her to come out and just us so i guess mr um mr and jet's parents were asking questions to the class and then they were asking also the couple of teachers that i referenced every time me and Jet had an altercation and they were basically you know backing up everything that i was saying and then mr just kind of apologized to me to be like sorry about that and even Jet was like Jet was told by her parents to apologize to me and then she apologized to me and then i went back to class like from that day after that Jet was like extremely nice to me and I didn't trust her obviously going forward because it's just like ugh you tried to get me expelled don't be weird you know why would you want us to be friends or anything like that so I kept my distance and then I just didn't mind it like I was just like ugh it's water under the bridge it's whatever yeah life goes on and that is it for my story time today of how she almost got me expelled from school thank you so much for watching please make sure that you like this video and do subscribe if you haven't to join this beautiful family once again thank you for tuning in until next time do take care bye